House of the Dragon Season 2 has seen the introduction of the Dragon Seeds, who will play a key role during the later stages of the Dance of the Dragons. So far, we have seen Hugh Hammer, Adam of Hull, and Alan of Hull. In this video, I want to take a look specifically at Adam and Alan and discuss how the show might have already confirmed who their father is going to turn out to be, and how it might go some way into proving some book theories in that regard. Now, before I get into this theory, I just want to make it clear some of the key differences between Adam and Alan in the book versus the show, because it does have a direct impact on the theory of their father's identity. First off, the first thing most book fans will notice is Adam and Alan do look different from their book versions. However, it does go further than the simple answer of changing the race of House of Valarian in the show. So, we have seen, despite the race change, most members of the house kept the silver hair of Old Valyria. In the book, being dragon seeds, both Alan and Adam are described as having the same silver hair traditionally associated with Valyrian houses. While we cannot know for sure when it comes to Alan, as in the show he has a shaved head, Adam does not have that silver hair. I do think there will be a plot reason for this, and I think there is a reason why Alan shaves his head to hide his Valyrian hair, and thus his Valyrian links. The other huge change in the show is their ages, and this is key in the father debate. In the book, Adam and Alan are 15 and 14 respectively, and while in the show we don't know their ages, we can clearly see that they are much older than 15, with Alan looking somewhere in his late 20s to early 30s, and it also appears they have swapped the brothers around, with Alan now being the elder brother and Adam the younger. It's a bit of an odd change and seemingly impacts the story very little, and it seems like a change for change's sake, but I will be keenly watching to see if there's any reason for it, and if it is in fact true. In the book, Adam and Alan's mother is a shipwright's daughter called Marilda of Hull. She was often seen around her father's shipyards. When she was just 16 years old, her first son, Adam, was born in 114 AC, and Alan a year later in 115. For the first 15 years of the boys' lives, she steadfastly refused to name who the father of the boys was. When her own father died, she inherited his shipyard, which she sold, going on to buy several of her own ships the captain, and sail to the rich trading ports of Essos. Both of her sons would spend time at sea on these ships before captaining them themselves. As the Dance of the Dragons rages, and after the first big loss for the Blacks at the Battle of Rook's Rest, Prince Deceris Valarian sends out a call on Dragonstone for dragon seeds. Bastards born with Targaryen, or in theory, Valyrian blood, with the promise of lands, knighthoods, and riches for those of them brave enough to claim one of the many unclaimed dragons the Blacks have access to on Dragonstone. Many men heeded the call, even several without a single drop of dragon blood in their veins. Countless died, and many were wounded. Marilda of Hull came to Dragonstone with her sons, Addo and Alan, to take part in what became known in the history books as the Sowing of the Dragon Seeds. There, she would claim that her sons were fathered by the late Lainor Valarian, with most accepting that answer, given that it was Corlys Valarian himself who had brought his apparent bastard grandsons to Dragonstone for the sowing. Adam of Hull managed to bond with Lainor Valarian's former dragon, Sea Smoke, which also factored into the acceptance of him being Lainor's son. However, when his younger brother Alan tried to tame Sheepstealer, one of the wild dragons, the dragon set fire to his cloak. Sea Smoke drove off Sheepstealer as Adam used his own cloak to beat out the flames. Not long after, Adam had proven himself by flying Sea Smoke. Lord Corlys would petition Queen Rhaenyra to legitimise Adam and Alan as true members of House Valarian and to name Adam the heir to Driftmark, something that she would agree to when Gisaris also advocated for Corlys' plea. Thus, Adam of Hull became Adam Valarian, heir to Driftmark. Now, in terms of law and history, that's all the important stuff we need to know for this video. The truth is, while Marilda of Hull claims Lainor fathered her sons, there is much speculation that they were in fact fathered by Corlys Valarian himself. Fire and Blood even openly talks about this element and makes arguments that support the concept of Corlys being the father rather than Lainor, and why he may have chosen to cover up this fact. While Fire and Blood does make it clear Lenor did like to venture into the shipyards from time to time, it was infrequent at best. It also reaffirms the rumours that Lenor had no interest in women and preferred the company of men. That's not to say he couldn't have fathered them while experimenting with women at the behest of his father, but on balance it does appear unlikely. You then have Corlys. 
who was known to spend copious amounts of time in the shipyards of Hull and could often be found there, paired with the fact that he was the one to advocate so hard for Adam and Alan, bringing them to Dragonstone himself, even fighting for them to be legitimised and Adam named heir. There is also some speculation that he hid the boy's existence up until this point, as while his wife Rainies was still alive, she would not have taken kindly to her husband, fathering bastards on a woman half her age. Thus, why he only brought them forward after her death. You can understand why Fire and Blood itself would debate this topic so openly. Regardless, as the family tree goes, officially they are seen as Lenor's sons, regardless of their true parentage. Now, while Fire and Blood does leave the door open for either Lenor or Corlys being the father of Adam and Alan, I don't think the show really leaves that much room for viewers to make their own mind up, like the books simply because the way they've aged both Adam and Alan up in the show. Given Lenor is 28 years old in 126 AC when he apparently dies in the show, there is no way in hell he's old enough to have fathered Adam and Alan. If anything, the actor playing Alan, who is the elder of the brothers in the show, seems to be around the same age as Lenor, if not slightly older. So that leaves just two options. The show is going to outright lead with the idea that they are Corliss's sons from the get-go, or they could very well go down the road that they are neither Lenor's or Corliss's sons. But given that Corliss fights for them to be legitimised, and the brief scenes we've had so far with Alan and Adam, it suggests that they could be going down the Corliss route, with it seemingly being suggested Alan knows that Corliss is in fact his father, with Adam perhaps not. I also think there is a reason Alan might have shaved his hair. I suspect that he does have silver Valarian hair, but he shaves his head to hide his lineage. Perhaps as the show goes on, he may grow out his true hair to further solidify his position as a Valarian. As to why Adam does not have silver hair, I'm not too sure on that one. When people make an argument that Adam and Alan cannot be Corliss's sons and have to be Lenors due to Adam being a dragon rider, which I'm sure will be pointed out by show viewers as well, there are two clear answers to this. Given Adam's Valarian heritage, he could have very well have gotten his ability to ride a dragon from there. While we don't know of any Valarian dragon riders before Lenor and Lena, it's not a given that they got their abilities to ride them from their mother, Rhaenys. The reason it's not happened up until this point with House Valarian is while women in the house have married several times into House Targaryen, we have no record of a Targaryen woman marrying into House Valarian, thus giving the opportunity for them to claim a dragon. So it is very possible Adam got his dragon riding ability from Corliss's Valyrian heritage, and that House Valarian always had this potential to be dragon riders. Plus, the whole point of Nettles claiming sheep stealer is to introduce the idea that you don't need dragon blood to claim a dragon, and it is possible without it. I want to know what you guys think. Who will Adam and Alan's father be in House of the Dragon? Is it a given that it's Corliss at this point? Or will they still try and add in the Lenor aspect? Let me know in the comments.